some Hussein said, I saw you at an Alam Rock restaurant eating a lamb chop like a posh boy. <laughs> oh, rather. <laughs> well, one must indulge. <laughs> you know, I was speaking about this earlier on today. With <clears throat> I was speaking about desire. <laughs> People are going to think, yeah, what's Mufti on about now? But you see, in psychology, you can, there is a distinction between liking something and desiring it. And I don't just mean a, um, a phenomenological difference. I mean, there are biological differences. So, and I've spoken of this in the past about, there, you know, it's the dopaminergic drives within the brain, the pathways that represent desire but liking something is different it's it, it's a whole you know it's stimulation of different aspects of the brain so a lot of these things can go hand in hand so you can um but sometimes they don't need to so sometimes you can like something but not have a desire for it and you also see this sometimes when uh, things go wrong as well. Um, I don't know whether it's necessarily a... But you do get with certain people, they may have suffered something, uh, an injury, or they've suffered, had some damage, and then they may um, lose a sexual... They may lose their sexual appetite. So there's cases where this happens. But if they did engage in sex, they still enjoy it. It's not that they don't enjoy it. But that's where sometimes some damage has happened to them. But even generally, you will find, and there's been experiments where, um, let's say, rats or mice have, um, they've had certain regions activated in their brain to um, every time they receive a shock, an electric shock, it would trigger those dopaminergic kind of pathways now they would then have such a desire to keep even though they do not want the shock it's not that they want the shock but they would do that till they exhaust themselves and this this field explains the psychology of addiction how it works because when you um when when the desire for something is really powerful but the reward the liking of it is also amplified. It can lead to, in many people, addictions. It doesn't have to lead to addictions, but it can in certain people. So, right. So, okay. So, the, 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 what I was discussing was, you see, I don't have a, a ver I don't have much of a desire um, for things like food. <laughs> As dumb as that sounds, obviously, I have the instinctual response. So obviously, if I'm hungry, I want to eat and I have the liking. See, liking is not the same as desiring. So I will like certain foods. So if I eat them, I like them. And if I had a choice, I would choose the ones that I like. But I don't have a desire like I'm like, let's say I'm not hungry. I, I don't I'm not driven for food at all like i mean zero like literally so i've i don't understand you know like people let's say invitations for food they literally it means zero to me like it doesn't um incentivize me in the slightest so we were having this discussion today about this i know that that's probably really weird because it makes sense to be incentivized for food because of the whole evolutionary thing but um, hmm, so I wonder, I wonder if 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 other people <laughs> are like that, or is that just me? I don't. Hmm, I have something gone wrong in my childhood. <laughs> I was thinking, you know what it might have been was um, I was discussing this earlier on. I was thinking it may have, but it may completely not. But when we were kids, we were told that oh, you're not allowed to. Um, like if you go out, you're not allowed to eat food at people's homes or you're not, you know, if people offer you something, you can't take it. And if they 
let's say you go to a relative's house or you go somewhere, if they give you food and say, oh, have this, you can't have it because it's it's a sign that you, <laughs> you know, they see upbringings, <laughs> right? Oh, it, 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 sh it means that, oh, your parents don't feed you. So there's this thing that it's, this is obviously old school now, but so as kids, not that we used to go that much, but if we did, we weren't allowed to kind of like eat the food that other people would give us when we were guests. So I was thinking maybe did it have a link with that or was it just biological anyway in my brain? or I don't know. But anyway, there you go. Sharing something <laughs> totally weird about myself. Um, so, yeah. So I wonder how that is with other people. But it's just food, really. Nothing. <laughs> I think the other other departments have over <laughs> overstepped. But I feel, yeah, so I wonder how that is with other people. But anyway, moving back to 